Namaste, kings and queens. Thank you for gracing my channel. Your presence is such a presence, so it's only right that I reciprocate you with the gift of guided messages. I'm sending you all peace, healing, love, and prosperity. Also, health and wealth. Before we hop in, you guys know what to do. Make sure you like the video because it truly helps the channel grow. Make sure you hit the subscribe button if you resonate with your girl. Don't forget to hit that bell so you're notified every time I upload a beautiful reading. All right, if you are new, welcome. I'm Intuitive Flow. And if you're returning, welcome back, spiritual family. Oh, excuse me. I didn't even know this was untied. Oh, I'm done. Um... <laughs> Anyway, this is a collective reading, okay? I'm being led to do divine feminine and divine masculine energy. <sighs> I don't know. Um, are some of you in separation right now from your divine partner? I'm feeling a yearning energy, like I'm yearning for you. Are someone yearning for you okay that could be them saying that they could be feeling that um i don't know why i'm getting an energy of someone being incarcerated someone could have gotten um a lot of time or someone's fighting a case could be fighting a long-term uh case i don't know i don't know who that's for but your person is yearning you if you're dealing with someone incarcerated, okay? Uh, for others of you, there just could be a distance. I feel like some of you guys may have recently separated or became distant from your person here. Um, you're debating on reaching out to them. Wow, yeah, it's a karmic relationship here. Bleeding triggers turmoil resentment lessons letting go and loving you okay so that's the <sighs> you're gonna go through that when you're going through separation with your person or with your divine flame um and you're truly trying to stick to your guns and you're you're truly trying to let a situation go you're gonna go through those moments when you're missing them and you're just wanting to reach out to them and you're wanting to mend the situation but all in all, it's very karmic and it's toxic. Okay, we have keys on a ring. Many options, decisions, unconventional, string along, one night stand. Some of you guys could be um, in separation due to a one night stand. Or due to someone having many options. Someone wanting to be unconventional. Okay, there could have been a wedge uh, in between the connection due to um, differences of opinions when it came to partnership okay some of you may have wanted to be a bit more traditional where others of you were willing to be more unconventional um, take it how it resonates if you were the one who wanted to be more traditional your person maybe wanted to be unconventional okay and vice versa some of you guys may be feeling so triggered okay that you may have a one night stand with someone just to ease your pain or get your pain off of this person okay that does not tie into loving yourself okay it says letting go and loving yourself giving your body to someone out of pain and anguish and hurt um that's only going to put you deeper into that dark night of the soul but if you're going through a dark night of the soul and you're not recognizing that's what you're going through, it's going to feel really heavy, okay? It's going to feel, um, you're going to be like, you're going to put yourself in a victim mentality, okay? So I'm being guided to say be aware of that. Okay, we have dragonfly. Be lighthearted. Finding out things. Coming to light. Adapt, change, and heal. Yeah. Some of you guys could be definitely finding out things about this karmic partner. Instead of going out trying to have a one night stand, okay, it's saying here that you need to heal. You need to handle things with a more light heart. Some of you guys need to come to terms that this situation is changing. 
and you're being pushed and you're being forced to heal.